Now, time for a look at how children can be taught how to be financially savvy. A new startup is aiming to lay firm foundations for fiscal management at an early age. Rise is a debit card and money app for kids and teenagers with a very simple mission to help youngsters learn about managing their money. To find out more about Rise, we can speak to its 23-year-old co-founder, Morgan Wirtz. Morgan, when I was 23, uh, Cybos certainly would not want to hear from me, so I'm going to set aside both my jealousy and admiration for, for your drive and success at such a young age and ask you to explain what exactly is Rise. Yeah, I mean, thank you. First of all, thank you for having me. And, and you said it well, right? Um, so RISE is actually a neobank, right? Digital bank, um, but specifically designed for kids and teens between 10 and 18. And we've built a whole experience for that specific segment, right? Um, but with, with a very specific focus on financial education with a lot of features for kids to actually learn with their first pocket money to spend, save, invest. Um, so that's essentially what we are doing. Uh, Morgan, what was the reason behind the launch? Was it because it was based on observations of that particular group that you're catering for? Yeah, absolutely. So the observation was, was very clear and we made the observation both on the, on the parent side and, the, and the, the, the children's side, right? And what we actually found out is that today financial education for, for kids has never been as important, right? Kids, they are talking already in you know, primary school, they are talking about Bitcoin investment, those type of things. And the reality is that financial education today, it's still a very under-addressed pillar of education as a child. It's not something you learn in school. And it's a very limited topic within families. So we actually started RISE and believe, you know, that the first, the best approach to learn about money as a child is, you know, is to be their first bank accounts. And, you know, they can, so they can learn by doing with their, with their own pocket money as, as, as a very, very early age. So what's the response been so far, Morgan? How's it been going since your recent launch in Belgium? So we actually opened in, you know, closed beta beginning of this year with a very limited amount of families and getting, you know, very meticulously a lot of, a lot of feedback from them. Um, and we've seen through that period the, 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 their feedback, you know, getting more and more positive. And at, at, at some point we knew, OK, now it's the moment to launch. And we used the, the back to school now, recent back to school in September to make a bigger, you know, bigger uh, uh, communication campaign. And, and honestly, the feedback so far has been, um, you know, tremendously positive. So super, super happy about that. And the surprising fact, and, you know, it's, it's very much related to Cybus as well. Um, we are, we've been getting surprisingly a lot of very positive feedback from traditional banks that are now coming to us saying, okay, can we do something together? Yeah, that's an interesting point because it really picks up on the question I, I was going to put to you that you clearly are making waves. You've tapped into a really lucrative market, a really interesting market. So are established banks coming to you to say, look, we don't just want to work with you. We'd like to partner with you as well. Absolutely. And that's, as I said, that's the surprising fact of, of the back to school. So we could, we could think we are, you know, competing straight away against traditional bank. The reality is that not at all. We are, we are even complementary. So we've been, you know, getting a lot of positive attention from traditional banks since, since our launch. And now we are, you know, discussions with them. Um, looking, okay, how can we actually, uh, what, what could a partnership look like? Um, how can you bring your expertise in terms of financial education and, you know, building an experience specifically designed for kids and, and families? And then on the other side, we can bring our, our banking experience, right? So that's, that's something, that's, that's a clear company focus right now, is to look at, okay, what can we do with, with all this positive interest we've got from banks? So, Morgan, a successful launch, tick. Speaking at Cybos 2022, tick. Uh, what's next for RICE? <laughs> so, next, we have, very, we, we have a very clear focus to remain very close to our, to our families that are using RICE today. So, you know, again, getting a lot of feedback from them. We are having a lot of sessions, understanding how can we, um, can we do things better. Um, so, that's the, the main focus. And then, and, then, and then the second focus is... You know, as I said, understanding how can we collaborate with, with traditional banks since we've got all this attention and see, you know, in the next few months if a partnership can, um, can happen. Morgan, what I'd like to know is how you approach financial education with your product because you want to educate people without making them feel patronised. How do you do that? 
absolutely. So the whole point is, okay, how can we make children, and that's why we wanted to be their first bank account and their first payment card, is how can we push children as early as possible with a super simplified, accessible experience uh, made for them to push them to make as early as possible their own trade of decisions. Look, I'm getting my pocket money as I, I will get my salary later on. What, what should I actually do with this money? Should I spend it? Should I, should I save it? Should I, should I invest it? Should I give it to charity? So the whole point is how can we create this safe environment where they can you know, make their trade-offs on their own and, and you know, ultimately learn, learn about money. We're still at an early stage, of course, but have you already seen any behavioural differences between the young generation compared to the older generations when it comes to banking? So, I mean, I'm still 23 and, you know, uh, uh, kids and I, I was almost, you know, I, I, I was, you know, born with a phone into my hand, right? So when it comes to, to banking, children are expecting an experience as they use social media today, right? So super intuitive, simple, made for them experience. But now when, when I talk about, you know, the, the younger generation, kids and teens, they definitely expect an experience made for them. So... I can remember when I was 12, getting you know my first bank account. I had absolutely no connection with my bank. Um, I, I was literally never opening my banking app because because the experience was simply not made for for me, right? The, the, I had no connection because they were not communicating to me to me at all. So we really wanted to to bring an experience which is actually made for that specific generation, for the younger generation, um, with specifically designed experience for them. Well, Morgan, thank you so much for joining us here on Cybos TV. At 23 years of age, we, we can only wonder what you'll achieve in the next decade ahead. Uh, that's Morgan Wirtz from Rice. Thank you for having me.